Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Hated or Love It podcast episode. We're happy to be back with another episode for you guys. Today is going to be pretty interesting because we're going to be talking about these times where these random ass people came up to us, dude, like out of nowhere. And they seemed all nice at first, but dude, they were like... Sus. Yeah, in the dude. End. Like, era plan con maña. Mm -hmm. And we really thought, Wavi. We really thought <laughs> we were about to make some genuine ass friends. Yeah, well, shit, me, dude. I swore. I was like, oh my God, I'm making new friends. Yeah, and I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this on social media lately. They've been sharing stories about how when they're out at the store, someone comes up to them and compliments them. And it's just porque tienen algún interés. Dude, and it's kind of, I was low-key kind of shocked when I started to hear people's story with me. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? Dude, I know. Them too? I, I thought we thinking, were the only ones. Yeah, she, me too. And then, um, and then we just thought like, dude, what the hell? Like, we have to talk about her in a podcast. And yeah, here we are. Thankfully, we're here. And, um. I don't know if it has happened to you guys, but have you guys ever stumbled upon or someone stumbles upon you while you're shopping? And there's specific stores, dude, that they go to, these specific yes. people. They go to, for example, us. It happened to us in Target. It happened to us in uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. And these people... And at Nordstrom Rack. They approach you... In a very genuine way. I mean, it feels like it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, hold on. They they comp the first thing they say to you, dude, is they like something from your outfit. They compliment you, basically. Wait, wait. And before we talk about this story, let me just say that we were kind of overthinking about doing this podcast episode. Yeah. Because I was like, I know, que tal si la gente se siente. But then I've been seeing that a lot of people feel the same way that we do, Obi. So I'm like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, we need to talk about this shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I true. But yeah, like Adan was saying, first, they compliment you. And they literally compliment anything about you. Yes, yes. They make it very obvious. Well, afterwards, when you catch it, it's so obvious that, yeah, they, they do it for their benefit, of course. But what's it called it's what's annoying about this is that these people approach you um again with the goal with the mission in the end they want to recruit you in their fucking whatever it is that they work in and to be specific um these people worked for amway or in amway mm -hmm. maybe you guys are familiar with it maybe you guys are in this type of thing too so please if you work in amway right now um props to you i mean please don't take this <laughs> the wrong way what we're gonna tell you guys about these times that happened to us uh when we uh interacted with these people <sighs> just thinking about it makes me like oh my god that was so i don't know like a waste of energy dude it sucks but okay so this one time it was back in 2018 we we went to Nordstrom rack dude me and erica love Nordstrom rack we fucking shop there like so much mm -hmm. because they always have good stuff you know mm -hmm. um so we we're at Nordstrom rack and we we're gonna we we're gonna get like an outfit because we we're gonna go to mexico city and then and yeah i was browsing i was in the shoes section and you were like looking at shoes too or you were like i think i was like looking at bags or clothes i don't know but yeah. the whole point is que nos separamos cuando estábamos en la tienda mm -hmm. so yeah i was looking at shoes he was at the men's section mm -hmm. and then i tried on some shoes so i put them on right and i go to see myself in a mirror and i'm looking at the shoe and shit like okay cool and then this um, white dude approaches me. He's like, hey, man, I like your shoes. I'm like, oh, thanks. I was like, oh, thanks. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could find some like mines too here. Like I found them 
right here in the in the in the shoe section. He's like, oh really? He's like, oh yeah, man. They look nice on you. He told me they look nice. And I was like, oh thanks, bro. Thank you. Well, maybe you could find your own too. Like that'd be cool. I told him. And he's like, you guys, you you going anywhere special? Your special occasion coming up? Or I'm like, yeah, yeah. We're actually gonna travel to Mexico City. We have an event over there. And um, but yeah, basically that's why I'm shopping for sh- dressy shoes. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, nice. And and it just, you know, a conversation fucking started there because him, you know, complimenting my shoe. And then he's just, you know, randomly asking, oh, are you going anywhere special? Are you doing something like soon? And um, he's they're fucking <laughs> they're smart. Like they get you with a hook. Like, like I thought it was a genuine conversation. I really like, thought. He thought it was a guy trying to be his friend. I I did ask thought like, oh, this this dude's cool. Like, like he has a good vibe, and and that's yeah. what happens. I feel like they go after. Well, I've heard that they go after young couples. Yeah, after after we found out and stuff, we started yeah. investigating, and Erica saw that. And if they see that you're nice, pues ya se agarran. Uh huh. It just sucks how it's all so fake. Like yeah, they compliment anything. Like I said. Like, you could be wearing the ugliest fucking clothes and they're going to compliment you. That's another story that I have, but keep going with me. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about it right now after this one. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, while we were, like, talking and shit, Erica comes up. And then the conversation just ends. And and what was so, like, um, like, it just, it got to me, and especially because... Because I had thought, like, oh, he's actually a good friend. What made me think that more is because he asked for, like, my contact. He's like, hey, you got an email or, or I think my number. Like, we should, we should, uh, get coffee soon. Um, me and, me and my wife and you and your wife, he said. And I was like, dude, it almost sounds like a, a scene in a movie, you know, like a little friends movie. Like, all t- yeah. n- new people, these two people, new people meet and, you know, I don't know, like, they become fucking <laughs> like bis- the biggest business partners. Like, you know, Bruh, like you, you, you felt like a main character. Hell yeah. Así como cuando, like when you were little and you would start singing at the store, like, uh, da, da. <laughs> like hoping a big producer <laughs> discovers you or something. Dude. Yeah. Like sometimes like you be, you be in like your thoughts and, and you think like, oh, dude, what if like. You just, you know, like, <laughs> y, y así yo pensé <laughs> eso. I thought of that. <laughs> well, I thought about the video that that said, oh, when a producer discovers you, and it's that short lady on TikTok. Which one? The short lady que tiene la vocecita así como bien ronca. I don't know what you're talking about. Se me olvidó su nombre. Tiene un nombre bien, like, she has a rememberable name, but I can't remember it. Go keep going. Oh, okay. Um, well, show me later. So yeah, so I told I tell Erica I was like, hey, Wavy, I met this dude like at uh, North Shore Rack, mm-hmm. and he seemed really cool, and, and he said he's a, uh, he's like he he wants to meet up like for coffee, and I told Erica you down, and Erica's like, yeah, and and I was just telling her like, no, yeah, he seems cool, like, like dude, like what the heck, what if I met a new friend, and you know, like, we could go from there i don't know like new friends like that's cool and um so yeah and i think uh after after that the next day this guy messages me like hey man it was cool meeting you and your wife um definitely really like your vibe and stuff like that and 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 that's when the planning started to meet to me with them at you know get, go get coffee and shit at a coffee shop and we actually went to cof- Coffee Bean. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And I heard that they always choose Coffee Bean. <laughs> yeah. So so that's one of their favorite places, dude, to, mm-hmm. to invite people t- over to. Así que it's aguas if you it's go either to Coffee, coffee Bean, Bean and or I don't know if it's Starbucks too, right? It's mainly Coffee Bean. Mainly Coffee Bean, dude. Mm-hmm. Maybe because Coffee Bean is uh, supposedly under Amway, huh? Like, Amway's like a co-owner. It is. Like, what? very far away. <laughs> well, that's what they say. I don't know. Maybe. I don't that's know. That's why they choose but it. But maybe that's why they choose it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, 
Like in the end, it falls under that category, Amway. They're Who like, knows? we can meet at my company. They almost, they almost <laughs> my, fucking my say that. Company. Yes, yes. So yeah, we end up <laughs> arriving, dude, at the coffee shop, and I think it was the next, the day, the day after that. And um, I don't know how were you feeling when we when we were already like on our way to go meet these people again. As a couple, because at first it was just a dude and me, you know, like we had, we were like just talking. Oh yeah, so you guys met up first, and yeah. then we met up. They met up with like wait, sus novias, no? I met I met up with the dude first by myself. No, I mean I met him at Northern Rag. That's what you mean, right? I think you met up with him. I met up with him. Yeah, hell no. Yeah, and then I met up with where'd I meet him at? Probably at a coffee bean. No. Yeah. I don't remember that dude. Cause to be honest. yeah, cause when you when you took me, ya tenías como más confianza con él. Oh shit! I did not remember yeah, that. Yeah, hasta se llevó una libreta y todo. And it was to it was for you and his wife to meet. That's the start yeah, time, huh? Uh huh. Damn. I I don't I don't even remember when I met him, just me and him to be honest. I guess, but I do clearly remember when we met with them, me and you. No, you had met up with him before. Uh And well, literally me, like my thoughts, I was just like, well, I guess. Like Mm -hmm. I'm supporting Adan Mm -hmm. and Adan's Amway journey. (laughs) Hell no. I I had no idea. I had no idea. It was, it was, it's basically a setup to get in Amway. Literally. Whatever. So. So, yeah, so the time comes, you know, me, Erica, meet the couple. And, dude, they, were, they seemed hella nice, huh? Like, Yeah, honestly, the girl, she was super nice. She was sweet. Yeah. Like, like there was nothing weird about her. Yeah, they weren't really giving Amway vibes. I, I, well, I mean, because at first we didn't really know how people who do that type of business, we didn't know how they're their characteristics you know like how they are mm-hmm. and their you know what they say or whatever we had we definitely didn't think anything of it and the girl was young too she was probably like one or two yeah. years older than me mm-hmm. yeah pero pues era como seriecita pero buena onda I y think, hasta ahí casi no I think she, no hablamos she, mucho she seemed outgoing like she wasn't she wasn't like quiet no but también she wasn't like making jokes and oh shit. see you know she, she was more like in her own lane yeah but yeah but she was too. yeah i think she was still like in a vibe like she was cool no she was chill mm-hmm. and well the guy too like mm-hmm. since the beginning like he was hella cool like very he had that little people's vibe like he he knows how to talk to people and shit dude he yeah. knows for sure and he was hella young dude i think he was like two three years younger than me he was yeah oh shit Uh uh-huh um if not he was the same age as me but anyway so yeah so that meeting with the couple and couple he starts to ask us questions like oh so so how do you guys see about this like what what are you guys' thoughts about um what was it financial freedom that Mm -hmm. was that was so like fucking specific and I didn't really know what financial freedom was at that time, at that time that he mentioned it. Mm, But it kind of made sense just by hearing it, financial freedom, you know, like having freedom financially, like just kind of made sense. Right. But I didn't know exactly what it meant. So, yeah, he asked us and we're like, um, like, well, we don't really know. But what is it actually? What, what, What is it? What is it exactly? Yeah. And then he kept asking about our goal. Yeah, our goals. And like, where do we see ourselves in like 10 years? Uh-huh. I was like, a chinga pues esto que es. Yeah. And then he also kept mentioning, oh, my mentor. Mentor. Un, un supuesto mentor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my mentor me dijo yeah. que hiciera esto yeah. um, to get this result. Mm-hmm. And hasta hizo un pinche char lo dibujó en un papel. Yeah. Y nos estaba ahí diciendo he que. He was explaining it. Yeah. What a man and shit uh-huh. like employees uh being self-employed and being your own boss and shit like that there's like coordinates um but it made sense you know it, it honestly it was leading to for me to believe like like oh he's probably like a owner of something 
you know? Yeah, I, you did think that, I think. I was thinking, did. like, I was like, dang, he's, like, sharing all these, like, you know, good little uh, information and points that just made me think, like, oh, I think he has, like, a business or something, like. You thought he was your fairy godmother. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I I imagined the, fu- obviously, like, I was thinking the 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 most, I guess you could say, yeah, like, fantasy or whatever. But fantasy as in, like, oh, he's looking for a business partner. Literally, I was I was imagining that. I was like, dude, like, maybe he's looking for a business partner or whatever. Life doesn't work that way, and No, it doesn't. Business partners only work with people who know each other, not yeah, with strangers. Yeah, not a stranger. Dude. Anyway, so, yeah, so this guy, he, he explained financial freedom. He's like, yeah, well, me and, uh, me and my wife, we're actually going to... What do you say, Wobi? He's like, we're gonna retire. We're gonna retire in, like in, in a couple years. Of years, two more years, and we're gonna be f- yeah, fi- financially be a, free. A little bit of years. And well, I was like, wow, congrats! I was like, that's amazing. Con He's ganas like, yeah. de, de decirle ahora cuéntame una de vaqueros. <laughs> and then they kept mentioning it, like, yeah, we're gonna retire, and 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 all because we have this mindset and da 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 da. And I was like, dude, well, that's fucking cool. Like, like I have that mindset already, you know, like being your own boss, shit like that. And then and then he pulls out a book for us to read or yeah, for us, huh? And I ended up reading it. I didn't read it. Yeah. And I, and he's like, um, will you be willing to read this book? Uh, and, and I'll like, we'll talk about it like tomorrow if we can. Dude, like, te retan. And yeah, like, show yeah. Me what they you challenge got. you. Like, are you able to read this in a day? He, yeah. And he's like, a lot of people. No, he didn't even say that. Honestly, he did not say that. He told me afterwards when I read it after. And because he asked me right the next day, like, hey, man, how'd you like the book? I was like, hey, I really did enjoy it. Uh, uh. The book was actually called uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's actually a good book and for my opinion um but like for the the point he was using the book for like it's just whack you know for me it's whack but the book is good and then yeah so i told him like oh yeah i did read the book he's like oh wow like that's that's pretty cool that you actually read it like not many people read the book because i've i've shared this with friends and they end up not reading it and then i was like and it made me feel like well, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a man of my word. You know, I'll read the fucking book. Like if I tell you, or if you tell me to read it, and you say it's a good book or whatever, I'll read it. And then, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, for sure, I read it and stuff. And then he just asked me questions about the book, and um, I think just to make sure I did read it. But yeah, he's like, like you need to make sure he's brainwashed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, after that, we met up again. I think it's the fourth time. But the fourth time, they invite us to a meeting with his mentor. He's like, hey, um, I really want, I would like for you guys to to meet my mentor. My mentor, I feel like you, you would really appreciate meeting him. He's really mm-hmm. cool. He has, he has a really cool thing going on, he was saying. Like, I really think you guys should go and not miss He's like, what do you guys say? And I was like, okay, yeah. And I was I was imagining like a big venue. Like what a big a big venue. Um, you know, a, a meeting with a lot of business people. That's what I was imagining, you know, when he said that. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, we accept the invitation. And the day comes and we were supposed to meet there like at in the evening, I think like 6 p.m. And we go, it was in Irvine, really nice, you know, area, really nice city, you know. Yeah. And then they told us to wear formal clothing. Yeah. It was um, formal or cocktail attire, some shit. We needed to wear business attire, basically. And funny enough, we weren't able to dress business attire. I don't know why. I think we were, we weren't at home at the time. So we were kind of like running late. So we weren't able to change. Mm-hmm. so we just went kind of a little bit more on the casual side you know yeah and we get there dude and um honestly i was feeling like erica was like 
not buying it dude since the second meeting i really wasn't yeah like um, i didn't read the book like i don't <laughs> give a fuck yeah and especially if he's like oh my mentor my mentor like poniendo a alguien en un puto pedestal like mm -hmm. a mí me vale madre i'm uh -huh. just like okay you it's because i'm not the type to fall for shit easily i feel yeah you don't buy shit right away mm -hmm. like you need to you need to see what's up first yeah uh-huh and I don't give a fuck who it is if they're successful. Like, I'm not gonna be kissing ass like or going, whatever. You want to know what's going on if they're. You I know. I don't care. I just don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it makes sense though, and especially because you don't know him or know them, so it's like I don't care. So that's good that you're skeptical. I mean, because I I was a little skeptical, but I was still fucking curious, dude. I was hella curious. Adan was really curious. I was so curious. Because this dude wasn't mentioning anything. He wasn't mentioning what he did or anything like that. And after he was saying, I'm going to retire in two years, shit like that. I was like, dude, well, I want to know, like, what you do. And, and you know, I could have asked him right away, like, at the times we met him, with him and shit. Mm -hmm. But I was like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, be, like, in Simoso, you know, like, mm -hmm. ask, like, well, what you do? But honestly, n next time I am going to fucking be straight up, dude. If anything, because, dude, you waste time. You waste your time. You waste other people's time. Yeah. And if anything, a real business person, they are going to ask right away. Yeah. They cut what to do the you chase. Do? Like, don't waste my time. Dude, literally, dude. But then again, also, um, another reason why I didn't ask was because like, oh, you know, maybe there's a friendship forming, a new friendship. So I was... I was just a little brainwashed with the friend side, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, no friend. Like, that's cool. So, yeah. And uh, anyway, so, yeah, we get to the meeting. We meet up with the dude, with the, the with the white dude. And um, he's like, oh, hey, glad you guys made it. Um, So this was business attire, I think he said. I was like, oh, yeah, we, we tried to, but we weren't able to. We didn't have time to, like, get ready and shit. You think he got mad? I think he got it looked by the look on his face he was like ah like you guys were kind of supposed to like me van a hacer mirar mal type I, of thing i yes and i noticed his reaction to that and i was like i got kind of annoyed i was like what the fuck dude like like chill yeah chill dude we're we're at a, it, it seemed like we're like at apartments at that time so mm -hmm. i was like dude we're at apartments like, like it's we're, not that deep we're not even in a venue or something i what I, that what i had imagined Mm -hmm. like in a big building i don't know like a convention or something and so yeah i was like okay that's a little red flag like why he get kind of like concerned you know mm -hmm. so he takes us up to this apartment ba literally it was a fucking apartment dude apartment unit yeah we go upstairs and we get there dude and it looked like it's a one bedroom apartment dude there was like so many people in the living room a bunch of chairs we barely were able to fit yeah and then, um, what do you think? What we when we got there? I was just like, "What, what the, the fuck <laughs> is this?" <laughs> they were just like all sitting down, and there was, um, there was like a couple of men, like older men, like middle aged, yeah. wearing tuxedos with like a graph, like creo que tenían como un little board or something, mm -hmm. y este y y toda la demás gente estaban sentados así como zombied out like just staring at they them. were they were standing too though no when we got there yeah they, i don't know they were it all over fucking, the fucking yes. apartment dude yeah yeah and this dude was just presenting us to his mentor which is like a really it was a it was a old guy really old guy and he's all like well suited dude like in a business suit and shit yeah he was kind of like mm, he said hi and shit you know but he was just kind of like few words you dude know, like, oh yeah nice and i had told that guy that i was an influencer uh -huh. and you the senor the senor told me influencer and he <laughs> looked scared yeah dude i got that vibe yeah he after that he was kind of like oh cool and then he wasn't saying anything mm -hmm. like, kind of like shitting bricks dude literally that's the vibe i got from that yes senor too. yes and then he just said like well hope you guys enjoy this meeting or whatever he said and yeah they start to have the meeting dude mm -hmm. so we're sitting down el viejito the old guy starts to talk 
and he starts to mention he starts to compliment people in the room like oh look at that look at that good looking couple right there yeah it was it yeah. was so cringe and everyone would just look at them and <laughs> yeah clap, everybody's like, like Woo! and and it was like a couple that it was a couple the güeros you know like uh-huh. white people and um they were like somos diamante yeah yeah because apparently there's like levels to that shit dude yeah there's scales or something mm-hmm. like that and yeah the old guy starts to talk about like oh you shopping at this this place you're basically shopping at amway and, he's, and i noticed he started to mention amway amway yeah i'm like what the fuck that's is the first time we ever heard that amway. was the first time we heard amway. never in my life have i heard same of that. I was like, what the fuck am we? Yeah, I was like, what is that? I think I even Googled it in my phone in the meeting. Yeah. I was like <laughs> Oh, shit. oh and um and I and and when I heard that fucking name of the company, I was like, Wow. I was like, this this is what he's trying to he was trying to talk to talk me into. Like, I was like, I was fucking disappointed, dude. Because I was like, dude. This dude didn't tell me from the beginning, or at least the second time I met up with him, like, hey, look, I do this, I do that. I was fuck, I was getting low key mad, dude. I was low key mad. And then, yeah, they were just mentioning the senor was just mentioning like, yeah, you you buy Coca Cola, well, that's you buying Amway. You you buy um. You buy shampoo, that's you buying Amway, and everyone woo. You, you shop. You, you, go. Uh-huh. He was saying, you shop at Forever 21. You shop at Nike. You are already shopping with Amway. Yeah. Like, he kept saying shit that like that. Like, that everything was Amway. Yeah, everything was Amway. Like, like little do you know, everything's Amway. Mm-hmm. Le- he was saying that, dude, so many times. And... I was just like, what the fuck? Like, is that even true, too? I would think, you know. Dude, pero como se emocionaban en Yes, the every time he would say shit like that, you buy peanut butter from this company, that's Amway. And everyone, what? It gives more cult vibes, dude. Cult. Like, it's, it's, it's like a la fuerza. They're shoving it down your throat, dude. Like, dude, it was kind of creepy how they just kept clapping at anything that that senor would say and then it came to a point at the meeting where all he would talk about was how successful he was yes uh-huh. how he has this and that he's like oh i have a big home with a lake i have the car of my dreams uh-huh. i have the yacht of my dreams yep. i have i'm married to a beautiful woman mm-hmm. like he they literally make it seem like if their life is so perfect yep Y toda la gente that's sitting down, they're just clapping at everything. Yep. It's I remember, weird. I remember that old guy even said too, like, hey man, I didn't even want to do this this business. My, my wife made me. And everyone would laugh and shit, like, but thanks to my wife, like, we're here. Um, we, we recently reached Diamond and shit like that. I guess Diamond is a level where, like, I don't know, you've recruited so... Uh, you recruited an amount of people, which in turn basically means you've made like, you know, you're making good money or whatever in that company. And basically, yeah, dude, just just freaking showing off that they're successful and da da da. And dude, like they're smart because they repeat all that stuff and it makes you think like, Oh, that could be me too. That could be me too and shit. Yeah. And um it's a smart tactic, dude, that they have. Like yeah. it's fucking and then keep in mind that ridiculous. on top of that, you need to pay monthly, a monthly fee to the company. Yeah, so to work for them. Yeah, so And you need to buy products from them, no? When we we didn't even know that though yet. After that meeting we met up with the white dude. And he's like, hey, so what you guys think about the meeting? And, dude, in my mind, I was like, dude, fuck you. Like, you didn't fucking, you could have told me about this shit way before, you know. And I would have made a choice, like, you know, should I be in it or whatever. Well, to be honestly, I thought you were going to sell Amway. 
No, dude. I was, I'm telling you, I was like annoyed as hell. No, Wubby, I really thought you no, were. No, I know, I know. I, shit, going that far, I don't blame you. I was but like, I didn't oh know. my God, how am I going to tell my parents? <laughs> like, oh, that wants to do a meeting at the hell house. Hell no. Dude, and and that day that day of the meeting, dude, I was so done, dude. I should like I really wanted to walk out, but because I'm so respectful, dude, like I stayed. If not, I would have been bailing. I was like, I was done. Dude, dude. I was holding my yawn the whole time. I was making stupid ass. I was faces. so done. Like in school when you wanna yawn and you're like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. So he asks us, "Oh, what do you guys think?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, it was cool." He's like, "Oh great, great. I'm glad you guys liked it. Okay, well." So I'm going to give you guys this packet and he, he takes out like a fucking, he has like a, it's like a little box and inside of that box, there's like a pamphlet and there's like a, a what's it called? A catalog, a catalog of Amway. Mm-hmm. And he, he shows me it. Look, I just want you guys, when you guys get home, just look over it. You know, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, he's like just browse to it. Browse take your time. It. Yeah. Take your time. Um, and then the next time when we meet again, we'll talk about it, he said. And my mom was like, fuck no. I'm meeting up with nobody, I said. <laughs> then I was like, oh, yeah, okay, sounds good. All right, cool. I'll see you later. Peace. And we leave, dude. And I remember we were driving home. I was like, Wavi, I'm so sorry. I was like, Wavi, I'm so sorry. I got you into this, like, all the way to this point like i was like, i was dude. so confused i was like wait till they want us to sell products yeah that brand erica like, want, yeah erica was like making sure like dude what what the fuck just happened like yeah. what is that like like what? it took some time to comprehend for sure yeah and i was telling her dude yes they want us to do a fucking they want to recruit us basically get a membership there that that's how i understood it right mm. But yeah, they want us to sign up for a membership. You're paying monthly, like a hundred something dollars, and they want you to recruit people so they could do the same thing you'll do: sign for a membership. And um, but yeah, and it's just from there, it's just a pyramid scheme, pyramid scheme. And um, I was, I was fucking, I couldn't believe it, dude. Like. I was like, I was like, hey, no, this is dumb. I just remembered that I saw on Google, like some picture from an article, me salió on Google Images when I was looking up what Amway. Uh-huh. And then it said, like, it said, um, it was like a little chart, like telling you how it goes when uh-huh. you join Amway. Yeah. And it says, join Amway, tell your friends, tell your mm-hmm. family, lose your friends and family, oh. and then you're lonely as shit. It was like a meme like about them? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that sucks. Yeah, we've heard that people who work in Amway and or similar types of uh, things like that, mm-hmm. they end up losing friendships, relatives. Like, Cause they're so They stop talking to them, pues. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, because they're always talking about it, and they're always trying to make them sign up, like, their family, their friends, Dude, their puro everyone. That it it, it's just annoying. Like it comes to a point, yeah, where it's like, dude, they're so zombied out by wanting something from people. Mm-hmm. They're desperate to to be successful, you know, and to make money, obviously. Which you know, it it's kind of normal. Who yeah. doesn't want to be successful? Uh huh. But it comes to a point their strategy's fucking whack dude to be honest yeah where it's just annoying like you gotta you gotta kiss people's asses like you gotta fucking fake genuine uh fake being genuine to mm-hmm. people like that's so whack to me dude mm-hmm. like dude that's so whack and um yeah so after that right we had that little that little cajita you know and he even had like a little diamond on the side. Like it was it was a little fancy, you know. Mm-hmm. And when we got home, I was like, well, I mean, I'm going to fucking keep this box. Like for all those for all those meetings or whatever, quotation mark, <laughs> I'm going to keep this shit. I got to get something out of it at least for wasting my fucking time, basically. And um, the next day, this dude messages me like, hey, so what do you guys think about it? Did you guys have a chance to look over the 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 little you know the information the the, the, the books or the whatever pamphlet? yeah and i didn't respond to him dude i didn't respond to him like he and he texted me like a couple times <laughs> like hey um 
Hope all is well. I haven't gotten a text from you. I wonder if if you're you're okay. Let me know what you think about the pamphlet, shit, shit like that. And then probably after the third time he texted me, I responded to him, you know, like just to play stupid. Mm-hmm. And I told him like, hey, dude, what's up? Um, sorry, man. I'm actually traveling right now. But when I when I when and we I, really were we yeah had we were gone to the Mexico City but still trip. I that was my excuse to not talk to him no more you know yeah because like, hey. you could have responded at Mexico City yeah mm-hmm. so I'll it's just that we were so in shock guys uh huh yeah like I was like fuck mm-hmm. so I was like yeah I'll, I'll I'll contact you when we come back from Mexico all right man see ya and I think I told him I don't know when I'm be back or whatever like bullshitting and yeah dude like. Three days after that, he texts me like, hey, like, how's the trip or blah, blah, blah. And I respond, I respond. Probably like the seventh, eighth time, he goes, hey, uh, it seems pretty clear that you're not interested. And um, you don't want to you don't want to respond to my text messages. So I'll just assume um, that is all. And I would like from I would like to get my stuff back, like the little box with the books inside and shit. And then I didn't I didn't respond to him, but dude, I thought to myself, I was like, fuck no, like I'm keeping that shit. That shit's mine. And um and after that message he sent, he sent me another message. He's like, Hey, I really need those things back as that cost me money. I was fucking I was getting paid. I was getting annoyed mainly. I was like, hell no, like you cost my fucking time. Like yeah. you owe me mm-hmm. for not being straight up. Like, yeah, like, I was just so dude. annoyed, you know? Uh-huh. And I was like, hell no. But I wasn't responding to him. I was just like talking que, to myself, like, fuck no. Para que están regalando cosas a strangers, at first they're gonna be like, I'm gonna need it back. Yeah, dude, I thought that was such a That's cheap why ass. That tragedy is so fucking mm-hmm. whack. I thought that was a cheap ass thing to do, dude, on behalf of him. Mm-hmm. The least he could do is give that shit. No, que muy que el mentor es millonario right? y no sé qué. And he's about Entonces, to retire. Like, it made no sense. Yeah. Uh-huh. So then dumb. why are they fucking worrying over a little packet and a box? For real, dude. Literally, it was a little ass box. Mm-hmm. I, I probably still have it, dude, because I keep. Yeah, it's like. Así una cajita así planita <laughs> que tenía como un papel adentro. I keep my fucking um, birth certificate and everything there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just convenient, you know? Like, it's a little box, shit. I don't mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have it too, so it can remind me of those fucking times. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and after that, there, dude, there was no more communication, you know, with that person or anything. And me and Erica, we're over here, like, fucking happy, hurraying, and shit, like, we didn't fall for it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, dude, you know, it's, like, to each their own, you know, like, if you like that shit, shit, go ahead, or whatever. But for us, yeah, that ain't, that, that stuff, we don't fuck with, dude, to be honest. And, Mm -hmm. and, um, and what's funny is that that wasn't the only time that we've gotten approached, dude. So after that happened, we got approached twice again. And the second time we got approached was at Target. Como chingan. It was at Target, dude. And I feel bad for Erica for this one because look, we're in the we're in the fridge aisle, like the frozen aisle. Um, and it was in I think it was in I think it was in It was in O C. It was an O C dude. For some reason, there are there's a lot of people in O C that do Amway, dude. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Coincidence, I don't know. But yeah, we're in the frozen aisle. And and then I don't know where to do this girl approaches Erica and she goes, Oh, I like your shorts. And Erica's like, Oh, thanks. And dude, Erica was wearing like some shorts that dude. they weren't new, you know. And they were a little like um Yeah, todos acabados los pinches shorts. Eran unos, unos shorts de Adidas. Uh-huh. The ones that you work out with. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, how guys, it's cause after she said, I like your shorts, she's like, Where did you get them? D- I'm like, you fucking dumb bitch. Like, it says Adidas. Yeah, it says Adidas on it, yeah. Like, it, how are you going to ask where'd you get them from? It was it was a piece of clothing that's... The most basic The shorts. most common brand, dude. Like, dude, an- anywhere they sell them, Ross or whatever. I think I had just gone hiking, too. So, probably the yeah. shorts were dirty as fuck, too. The logo was kind of, like, faded, too. Like, kind of faded away. That's why I was like, dude, those shorts are not even, like they're not they don't look special or they don't look so you know unique for someone to compliment them like so fake yeah that was hella fake vibes like dude like what that's so whack 
And then, but Erica's nice, you know, so she's like, oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, what'd you say, though, when she asked you, where'd you get those? <laughs> I was like, oh, I, th- I think I got them at Tilly's, but you can get them anywhere. Yo, yeah, okay. And it didn't hit me yet that it was another fucking Amway uh-huh. bitch. Until, until when, dude? Until Did she ask you again something? She started tratándome de hacer plática, like, out of nowhere. Oh, she was yeah, like, forced. what are you doing this weekend? Like, so forced. Oh, I was shit. like, what the fuck? Damn. Like, I don't fucking know you. And then it crossed my mind. <laughs> what if it's someone that supports me, you know? But uh-huh. no, no, no. It wasn't that for sure. No, it wasn't, dude. I even noticed, too. I was like... Se le miraba la cara como de interesada. And her face just said pyramid scheme all around. Dude, 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 dude. dude. Even her face, for real. Because she was, like, kind of, like, nervous a little bit. Like, yes. what you doing this weekend? Like, I noticed, too, dude. I noticed. Mm-hmm. And plus, if it was, like, an actual supporter of yours, Wavi, because you've... You, these past years, like, you've you've you know met people yeah, that I've know you yeah i've experienced meeting a lot of my supporters if it was someone that knew you dude she would have right away said like oh dude i've been seeing your videos for yeah. a while because yeah. they always say that and she didn't no se notaba que era como plan con maña. yeah yeah it was that and then right away erica just cuts the the combo like oh i gotta go and it like was that. hard for me to cut that combo because what? around that time i feel like i was so nice you were hella nice yeah yeah but it ended up hitting me like, okay, this is fucking weird. You're still nice, though, babe. I just babe. ended you up just, walking away. Yeah, you're just, you just have your little limits now. Yeah. Which is not bad. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I got approached in a parking lot. Where? It was in OC, too? It was in Anaheim. <laughs> Dude, no, mom. We were going to go to Five and Below, I think. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. In uh in Anaheim Plaza. Yeah, it was one like five and belows were hard to find. Like now we have one in Downey. Dude, that time we would hang a lot around Anaheim, dude. Mm-hmm. Huh. Dude, nos tocó pura Amway dude, people. Yes. So that time we were getting out of the car. Yeah. And then we see that there's a couple. Ya se miraban como medios middle age. Middle age, for sure, yeah. They were walking to their car and they were parked next to us while mm-hmm. we were coming out of our car. Yeah. And then... It was a... Maybe? That was me, my bad. Yeah, it was an Indian guy and an Indian lady. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think they even said they were from India. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the guy starts to... He, first thing he did, complimented my shoes. And, and I was wearing Adidas shoes. I was wearing, um, I forgot exactly which ones it was, but it was kind of obvious it was Adidas. They they look like uh, those fucking, ¿cómo se llaman? Los, los NMDs. They look like NMDs. They weren't though. But yeah, he asked me like, hey, I like your shoes. Where'd you get your shoes? And I was like, no, he said, hey, I like your shoes. What are they? I'm like, oh, they're Adidas. He's like, and then he goes like this, dude. He's like, oh, where, where's, where's an Adidas store? He like he fold he he folds his arms just how I did right now, dude, and starts to lean on on his car to kind of like chill back and start conversating with me. And I was like, oh, like I do not. I, I, that that's already a red flag for me. I thought. Dude, se estaba poniendo a gusto para yeah. la conversación. <laughs> yeah. He's like, esto va pa largo. And dude, I had just got on my car, like s- trying to slowly walk to the store, and this dude starts to lean. Like, I was like, like showing me, like, yo, I want to talk to you. And I was like, no, dude, not today. But yeah, he asked me like, oh, what store? I was like, oh, Adidas. Like, uh, it could be any store. <laughs> we have this luck with Adidas, huh? I just noticed. Yeah. Well, it's because it was at that time where Adidas was like it was super okay. trendy. Yeah, like those little jackets, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, yeah, he starts to get comfortable, and I'm like basically talking to him as I'm walking away, though. And then I just tell him, like, oh, sorry, I gotta go. And I dip, dude. I was like, no, I ain't. Like, what the heck? Leave me alone. Did they did they ask us, like, what do we do for a living? I think Yeah, they I think did. so. I think they did. I think they did. Porque la esposa como que me quería hacer plática. Yo dije, ah, chinga, estos quieren estar de parejita. Yeah. And they're, like, way older than us. Like, that's yeah, fucking weird. It was, yeah, it was, it was just not the vibes, dude, basically. Mm-hmm. 
And see, nos escapamos, dude. Fum, okay. que, lo bueno. We were low key laughing, nos me and Erica. Chinga. We were like, vamos. We were like, what, be, what is going on? Like, what the hell? <laughs> and and that was a couple years ago, guys. That was probably three years ago. And um, and and throughout this all this time, dude, no one had approached us anymore. It seemed like it seemed like everything had calmed down mm-hmm. with those type of people. But we're wrong because I th- was it last month? Yeah, last month. Last oh, month. Wait, but wait, Wavi, we need to say the story. What story? We ended up seeing that Indian couple again. Oh, that same Indian couple? We saw them again, dude. Months later. Months later. At Lakewood Mall. At Lakewood Mall at the Forever 21 in Lakewood yeah. Mall. And again, complimenting <laughs> Adan's dude, shoes. I've, yes. He approached me. The, the Indian guy approached me again. And he complimented me some shit. I was like, in my mind, I was like, is this the same dude from from over there, from Anaheim dude, Plaza? Dude, they traveled. They were like, you need to go where the young people are. Dude, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's part of their strategy. Yeah. Dude, and, and notice he compliments me. I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of my face. I didn't even tell him that, but I was like, in my mind, I was like, dude, get the fuck out of my face. I and, was like, what the I, fuck are they doing in Lakewood? He compliments me, and I'm, and I just tell him like, oh thanks, and I walk away, dude. I fucking walk dude, away. Dude, I look like a straight up dick. Hasta me dio lastima el señor. <laughs> dude, it's because I'm so. Reconocí a la señora también. I'm so over it, dude. Like, like, dude, I'm, I'm not today. I said, and not today. What were they doing at that Forever Twenty One in the shoe section? I don't know. I was trying on heels, like. ¿Qué les dio to go to the heel section? No offense, la señora se mira que nunca compra de Forever 21. Mm-hmm. Sorry, dude. Like, I mean, maybe for their daughters. Or, you dude, could tell they were aiming at I, a young couple that's stupid Yeah, or something. it's so obvious. It's so obvious. Mm-hmm. And as we were saying recently, last month in April, we are at Marshall's. Th- that time we we didn't go with Ida and Ricardo, and it's funny that we say that because dude, we've been going to Marshalls frequent frequently lately mm-hmm. with Ida and Ricardo, and it, and this time and that time it was just me and you, huh? And my mom. Yeah, uh huh. My your, mom was, your mom with was us. there too. Oh, okay, uh-huh. yeah, my mom. Okay, so we're looking at water bottles and shit because Marshalls has some bomb deals, like in the clearance section, like really good deals. I was looking for water bottles and shit. Yeah, and I was looking at mugs. And she was looking at mugs. Because I wanted to get one for Nelly. Uh Uh-huh. It was like a princess mug, right? Yeah, it was like, I don't know, it it reminded me of her quinceañera, but Uh I was like, I wonder if she likes Cinderella, because it had a Cinderella heel, and her dress was like a blue Cinderella color, but then I was like, what if she doesn't like Cinderella, you know? So I said it out loud to Adan. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, so... And then Erica, she's, she's like, oh, you think you think Nelly would like this mug? I was like, yeah, I think so. But you know what? I told Erica, you should you should hit up Edith and ask her, like, just mm-hmm. to make sure. Like, for sure, Edith has to know, you know, if she'll like it or not. And and Erica's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to call her. And then she calls Edith. No, I texted her. Oh, you texted her? Yeah. Okay. And then I noticed, I noticed there's a dude, like, right next to us kind of with his arms crossed supposedly him looking like looking at like the like the the shelf you know with water bottles or whatever and then he busts a joke after you said like oh there i texted i texted edith like it's better to ask huh i'm like yeah and then this guy goes this guy goes he busts a joke like i don't know we're like um oh you gotta you gotta always check and make sure huh when you're getting those gifts huh yeah, something like that he yeah. said he's like gotta always make sure huh like, <laughs> oh, yeah that was so cringe yeah like such a daddy joke yes and he didn't look that old huh mm-hmm. he was mm-hmm. maybe like our age low-key mm-hmm. a little older actually and then and i just look up to him and honestly i fucking ignored him because he gave me that fucking vibe of like trying hard as fuck to conversate dude um and and of course as as a normal amway person would do <laughs> did i respond i think i did but yeah sure, no yeah you you just said you just kind of laughed like yeah oh no he straight up asked me like, oh yes like, after he, he said that like right he said was that for your niece something like that 
he ended uh-huh. up asking me something uh-huh. like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was like, oh no, just my my friend. friend's sister. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I just kind of like, me yes. fui como por otro ladito. Yes. And then what else he asked, dude? Because honestly, the second, third question, I was like, all right, I'm leaving. He said something, pero lo dejamos hablando dude, so long. I kind of felt bad for him. But yeah, he had asked something else after that. And I kind of, I kind of, uh, I asked Erica something like, like if I'm talking to her, you know. You said, "Oh, we need to go look for my mom." Yes, yes, y yes. Nos fuimos en chinga. I was like, "Well, we let, let's go because I need to. I, I, let's go look for my mom so we could leave already." Uh huh. And he had to ask something like about I don't know what, and we literally, dude, we we ignored yeah, him. Like dude. he had asked me, but I didn't talk to me. So obviously, uh, like yeah, I just gave just him a short ass answer. I was like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. And then I was like, well, yeah, I need to go look for my mom. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I cut the fucking convo. And you could tell he looked he looked like he was in, like embarrassed or whatever. Because he just started looking. So I got Choco viendo like unas cosas because, well, we kind of ignored him. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, I don't give a fuck, dude. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't do that, dude, for real. Like, don't do that to me. Y después se fue a los baños that were close. Yeah, we were to close the to the restroom. And yeah. we were looking at. He took off to the restroom. Yeah, Como, he was nervous as fuck, yeah. dude. Yeah. He was super. Ni modo, ni modo, es su chamba. He needs to fucking deal with it. Yeah. That, that's what he's going to have to deal with, dude. And then your mom ended up looking at mugs there at that same spot, at, like again. 15 minutes later. Oh my God. Uh huh. And then. We go back after we find my mom. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And then while I'm looking at the mugs, <laughs> I see a girl that's lo- a girl that's looking at the mugs too. Uh-huh. And then she's like, "Oh, I like your purse." Oh and I'm like, "Oh, thank God. you." She's she's like has a cute little butterfly, and I'm just like, I didn't say anything right there. You thought, I caught like, on whoa. to it. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. At first, I thought it's a girl complimenting me. Uh-huh. Me, At I l- I love when people compliment mm-hmm. me, of course, because I love complimenting yeah, you random it. girls. Yeah, I've been do doing too. it a lot lately. Like, if I think someone looks fucking pretty, like I'll just tell them, I'll be like, "You look so pretty," uh-huh. or you know, so. I surprisingly I caught on and I was like I think <laughs> I was like I think this girl is with that guy. Yeah, dude, they they looked like a couple, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. and después mm-hmm. los miré juntos hablando otra señora era su víctima. Holy shit. Por los vestidos. Hijuela. Y nos escapamos otra vez. Dude, yeah. And you know what? That girl looked super similar. To the girl I saw at Target, Target in the free section. I think it was her. I remember she was short. Yes. Right? Short y morena y con pelo negro. And llenita, no? Aha. Uh-huh. Yep. It was probably the fucking same girl. Yeah, dude. I think it was her. Holy shit. <laughs> I was like, Holy you fucking shit. fake bitch. <laughs> like, how dare you fucking compliment my bag when you didn't mean that? You didn't mean it, dude. That's what's fucking sad, dude. And that time it was in Lakewood, the Marshalls. It was, huh? Dude. Yeah, so, it was in Lakewood. So they probably mentioned Lakewood Fuck. in the meeting. Because we, we saw the other couple again at Forever 21. They're migrating to fucking Lakewood, dude. That's fucking Dude, crazy. next thing you know, they're going to be in Paramount. We live close to Downey. Lakewood. I know. Nah, they <laughs> they're not going to be able to in Paramount, dude. People will not let themselves. But yeah, that's that's what happened, dude. Like, it, our advice for you guys, if you guys ever, you know, bump into these type of people or these people that are doing that type of thing, um, obviously, like, you're going to do whatever you want. But we recommend not associating with those people. It's just, it's not worth it. You know, you could... You could be successful in, in, in anything else you could do. The pyramid scheme, it's not good because, like, say you want to be successful and you want to be, like, the top. Because that's what it's all about in mm-hmm. that type of business. Like, they make you think, like, oh, have you reached this? Have you reached this level? Like, have you reached my level? Like, if someone tells you, and they're diamond or whatever, like, they're, like, really high rank. 
they'll tell you that thinking you could reach their level but you're never never gonna be their level or top top are on top of them because you're always gonna be in the bottom because that's how the pyramid schemes are that's what sucks about that you know wait but some people actually do get high no but it takes like a lot dude <laughs> The for example, the person that recruits you, you know, uh-huh. they're always gonna be on top of you. Oh, okay. always. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're never gonna be, you're never gonna be uh, above them. You're never gonna sell or or have more recruits more than them. Why? Because you're already under them. Yeah, I know, I know that. But what if you actually recruit a lot of people, and then the people that you recruit recruit a whole bunch of other people. It's still that, under. That could happen too. It's still under the person that recruited you, though. Yeah, I know, but they're still making income, no? Yeah, but the guy that recruited you is still on top of yeah, you, uh-huh. always. Yeah, I know. I they're know that. always gonna be on top uh-huh. of you. Well, it's like super fucking hard to recruit people, from what I've heard. Well, yeah, they're you push like, your family yeah. away, friends away, because uh-huh. that that desperateness of hey, you know, become a member. Do Dude, this. there's a whole bunch of articles online about. Like family talking about another family member, member that joined uh-huh. a pyramid scheme. Yeah. And then I've heard a lot of stories about them going broke too. Damn. And they're so brainwashed by thinking that one day they're going to be all the way in the top of the pyramid scheme uh-huh. or whatever. Yeah. But they just end up going broke and losing friends and family. It's super yeah. sad. Yeah, that's that yeah that's not that's not our cup of tea or whatever you know whatever you want to call it so we rather not associate with that type of stuff yeah and then nowadays there's a, there's a lot of companies that are similar dude example primerica and then um también hay una que es como de shampoos para el pelo i always see like memes about it on tiktok about girls that they're like hey babe looking to make some extra income <laughs> Like that one like, company, hey, love. that one company that was so cologne, Jafra. Oh yeah, hey, but Loki, their products were bomb. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of hate es que saying. Unas compa- es que unas compañías, la neta, sí, like they have bomb products, like a Loki ball for them. <laughs> Shit, I'm not going to lie too, like, like Melaleuca, like, uh, uh, that's probably like a pyramid dude, scheme too. Adans but Tias, dude, Adans Tias, they're like always talking about that stuff. My mom loves Melaleuca, dude. And another, like, some Tias that you have. Because of my that. mom, I ended up falling for Melaleuca. They're like, Melaleuca, unas Melaleuca. bien buenas. <laughs> yeah, and they swear by it, like, they're actually good, they say, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they like the product. It's, it's, that's them. Um, well, but I hate to agree. Sorry, but I hate to agree that uh, I was I was young at the time. I was like fifteen. I bought a Jafra cologne, dude, and I thought it smelled good. But dude, honestly, for me, I did not. Thinking about it, would be the fucking perfumes are whack. Really, yeah. me, I love Jafra. I love Avon too. <laughs> Literally, me and my sister, we would fight for the catalogo ones. That one time we ripped it because we were like, no, I want it. Because we would like to like, um, we would pick lip balms or they had Hello Kitty stuff. Uh-huh. Avon has really cute things up to this day. And Jafra too. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. My yeah. first concealer ever was from Jafra because my tia in Mexico City would sell it. Yeah. Oh, she came through giving me so much makeup. That's and nice I was so grateful. And I really liked the product too. Mm-hmm. It's because that's more like beauty, I think. Amway is just like any type of product. Like your like whole life. Like if they're life. just trying to sell you everything. No, it's because, yeah, they life. sell everything, dude. Yeah. They sell food. They sell clothing. They sell cosmetics, hygiene. Yeah, well, Melaloka too. Cleaning supplies. Uh, yeah, that's so mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess. Cada quien sus gustos and, uh, you know. For, but for me, dude, at this point, I just see Amway like super desperate people, dude. It's cause I've never doing... seen desperate people like that in other companies, but damn, tss, they're special. Their strategy is just <laughs> so whack and so not genuine that it just ruins it for them. It's like ellos solos están enterrando en un pinche hoyo with a bad yeah. rep. And they're so used to being neglected or being denied, you know, that they're so numb. Uh, they're so numb about it now. Like, they don't care if they're talking to you in a desperate way even though you know they either notice it or not 
they don't care anymore. They're just so ambitious, dude. Yes. That greed, that greed of I want more, I want more. Mm-hmm. They don't care. They don't care. Like if they say no to them, they're gonna they're gonna go to the next person until hasta que alguien diga que sí. Sí. That's fucking. No tienen llenadera. Savages, <laughs> savages. But yeah, guys, that's basically our stories today. Um, you know, we hope you guys learn something from our mistakes and from our experiences and again it's all up to you guys it's all it's just advice definitely it's just advice you do not have to take our advice but um but you know what comment below if you guys have gone through something like this dude or if you've heard about something like this (laughs) or if you have a family member that's in this shit and everyone's like oh yeah viene corre dude loki tell us let us know in the comment section below let us know we want to know we want to we want to chuckle we want to know some cheese man for dude, sure yeah it's always like funny as cheese man about these people oh, oh my god i feel bad but like it really is funny because <laughs> everyone's like corre like, i know we're not the only run ones. away hide yeah <laughs> all right guys well we'll see you guys on the next episode thank you guys so much again for the support we love you guys and this was another episode from hate it or love, love it. it also make sure to like give us a thumbs up subscribe turn on your notifications so you can get notified for the next time that we post and we'll see you guys next time peace bye